super big agree. Okay, looks like Sneaky is the second player. So let me update that scoreboard real quick. And it looks like he is not a Meta Knight after all. He is a Krom. Or maybe, you know, he just really doesn't like the Meta Knight Donkey Kong matchup. Very possible. And just went Krom. Because uh, Snake has already been on stream. Okay, okay. And Krom, man! Krom, he just can't recover from that kind of angle! So if if he act oh my god okay okay <laughs> so we get the sick gimp with the Turkish squeeze coming out from Snicky and then Ruven just man he just instantly gives him the forward smash. Ooh! What? What? Is that a true combo? The Donkey Kong Country roll the dash attack to down there? It looked true. But it might have just been not true, but really fast. So Ruven was not in time with responding. Very possible. I need somebody to figure it out. But most of all, I need somebody to clip that. So we can uh, we can figure it out, you know. Get that study on. But looks like Ruven is not even bothered. Because he is still going in there. Getting these hits. Okay. Is that... Oh, okay. So I get it. Okay, I get what Sticky is doing here. What he's doing, he's jumping to the platform, up throwing just before he lands. And maybe he has less lag when he does that. And then he double jumps for the up air. That's what he's trying to do with the uh, with what he did to Snormandas Jr. You know, a platform assisted ding dong. So Ruven firing back with a forward air. But there it is again! The Turkish squeeze! Chrome is so unbelievably fragile when it comes to horizontal angles that Turkish squeeze as I like to call it is just perfect for it now why do I call it that is because the cargo down throw for Donkey Kong man is like he squeezes you like this like this in his arms and then you fly out and in Street Fighter 4 there was this crazy character Hakan from Turkey who was an oil wrestler and he did a move just like that mm. Oh, so Nabil, well, there it is. You know, I didn't even read your co uh, your comment before I said that, but uh, there it is. There it is. No, 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 no. Mitch, I like it, but purple Donkey Kong will forever be the grape ape to me. The grape ape. But, you know, you are, of course, all very welcome to figure out your own nicknames for things. <laughs> Let's hope it catches on, you know. Get my name out there. Throw a lot of young beers in the chat. Or BYO beer, I think, is the, the handle for it for a new emote. Because we have been getting some new subscribers and some new emotes. But if you want even more emotes, then you need, hit that, you need to hit that subscribe button yourself. I think we get one at 60 and I think we are pretty close. So, you know, that is just a bonus on top of the moral satisfaction. That you derive from supporting your local European grassroots, but top quality Smash Brothers streamer. I understand, I understand. You know, it doesn't really roll off the tongue. But I just, I can only, I, I, when I look at Donkey Kong doing the cargo down throw, I see only Hakan. I see only Hakan. So let's find out if Ruven changed character because I think like he died multiple times to the cargo down throw. Like at least twice and maybe three times. Maybe. So there it is, the Meta Knight. So he does play Meta Knight as was derived from his profile picture. Let's find out if uh, this particular character does a little bit better. So I do think it's tough for Meta Knight because he dies a lot sooner and he definitely has a bit of a range problem compared to Donkey Kong's insane back air and up air. But you're not gonna gimp him. You're definitely not gonna be gimping Meta Knight like what happened to Krom. But so far, Snick and his grape ape have been uh, 
been on top, you know, getting some nice damage. But the speed from Ruven is allowing him to catch up in damage. I like the attempt at edge guard. The roles are reversed in this particular matchup. It's definitely going to be Meta Knight who can edge guard Donkey Kong more effectively than the other way around. And the trade on the Mac Tornado is going to get him the stock. Great edge guard sequence right there by Ruven. But there's the juggle from Sticky. Like I said before, even if you don't hit the up air, the fact that the hitbox is so big, the lag is so little, and that you cannot air dodge for free anymore in this game means that Donkey Kong, even if he misses that up air, he can just jump up and try to get you on a second go. You know? It's so great. It's so great. The advantage stage of Donkey Kong in this game is crazy. And it's still very, very strong. So you're gonna get some early kills. So Ruven, man, even though he uh, he got that nice first kill with the Mac Tornado, already has some catching up to do. He's not going to be killing with the Shuttle Loop. The Blast Zone ceiling has been raised significantly to uh, the Smash 4 counterpart, as everybody knows. Tries to go for a stage spike with the Cargo Throw, but he got the exact side of the stage, which, you know, of course leads to uh, a horizontal spike, which is uh, not very useful at all. And they're really keeping it even, man. They're really keeping it even. Could go anyway. There's the Mach Tornado again. Can the Spinning Kong make it back? No, he trades with the last hit of Meta Knight's back air. And that is a super strong move. That is very good for edge guarding. And there it is. The Turkish Squeeze straight up killing this time. Not just a gimp, but just a kill. Because, of course, Meta Knight is, uh, is not the heaviest character. Oh my god! Look at these combos from Ruven. 46%. Trying to go for some more, but this guy, uh, Sticky, gets his shield up in between there. Oh, there it is. That's what I like to see from Donkey Kongs. There's so little lag on the dash stack, and it sends uh, people at such convenient knockback and such a great angle. The instant reverse back airs, man. So hard to deal with. I think it's also kind of a tricky input, you know, getting those insta back airs out of a dash stack. But uh, Snakey's making it happen. There it is, down throw with the feet. Wow, okay, missed tech on the platform into a back air. And that's not quite a kill, almost got the kill. And it feels so terrible when you are the first one to get the dramatic zoom in, but then they don't die and they kill you in return. That feels terrible. So I know Ruven is looking to prevent that. Let's see if he can. He puts Snicky off stage once again. The oh no, the SD. The SD. Such an anticlimactic ending to uh, game two here. But Meta Knight did it. He. Uh, Ruven got the second game, so we will be going into game three, which is nice. <laughs> oh, thank you for clipping, Nabil. I really appreciate it. Yeah, this MK is looking pretty good, and uh, Sticky's Grape Ape is looking uh, pretty great himself. Hey, Super Sammy, what's up? Welcome in the chat. So, I do believe both of them will be staying character. Like, Snicky's Donkey Kong did great, you know. Just ended up losing new to that SD in the end, but it was totally even. So, yeah, they're both staying. Understandable. Good choice by both. Let's find out who is gonna make it further into top eight. Three, two, one, go. Because we are, of course, watching a loser's quarters. As wow, Ruven actually beat Takeo's Ike to get here. The number two from last net battle, don't forget. That's pretty crazy, that's pretty crazy. Sneaky with the back air, that's good stuff. And here comes Ruven. Now these dash attacks, you know, may have reduced combo potential compared to uh, Smash 4, but uh, they're still very fast, very hard to deal with. And can cross up. No ladder just yet, and that's a back throw. I wonder if he meant to do that. I definitely feel like he could have gotten something more. 
but he gets the stage spike, but Ruven gets the tech. He tries again, and this time he gets it, but that's gonna be an SD. Fortunately for him, though, he did get the kill. Imagine, you know, doing the stage spike there, not getting the kill, but SDing. That'd be terrible. And that's an instant, the huge amount of damage on Ruven due to Snickies and Donkey Kong's crazy advantage state. So dangerous. So dangerous. Okay, Nair, Nair. It's good stuff. Oh, wastes the punch. That's bad news, but fortunately, looking at the percent of stock count, uh, Snick definitely has a bit of wiggle room, you know. He can make a couple of mistakes uh, without too drastic consequences. It is definitely Ruven at this point who needs to make a big play. And he's definitely going for it. I like that Mark Tornado. I like that he went for it, didn't help it. But the thing is, Mark Tornado can have so much momentum that you might still make it back to stage before the other guy. Good F smash. Donkey Kong is super heavy though. Another F smash. This time, he's not gonna find his mark. Dimensional cape. Ruben is making big play after big play, but he's making it work. And it's pretty much evened it up, actually. So that's good stuff because he was behind by a lot. Another back air, unfortunately for Ruben. Sneak pops out of the move, even though that probably would have been a kill. And there's the Turkish squeeze at 140. Good luck getting out. You're probably dead unless you are a heavy character. No punish on the Miss Shuttle Loop. That's a lucky break for Ruven. He's looking for the kill. You can just see it, man. Dimensional cape coming out, everything. Can he get this edge guard maybe? Doesn't go for it. Just shields and jabs. I don't know if the jab uh, was something he wanted to do. I think maybe the four tilt could have killed there, but he finishes up with an edge guard regardless, so I guess it doesn't matter. Still though, you don't, you don't want to give any uh, bonus opportunities to uh, people like Snicky. Ooh! Okay, still going. He got a drag down bear regrab into a ladder. Only for 37% though, because that toothpick is not quite as strong as those big, chunky legs you find on Donkey Kong. But it looked very slick, and I believe that maybe he could have extended that ladder uh, a little bit further even. Okay. Squeeze! And he got him! Wow, okay, so Snicky had a lot of confidence that he would not be able to wiggle out there because he went super deep for that particular squeeze. And that's it, that's it. That is uh, uh, a close victory in favor of uh, 